Hey guys, how you doing? James here. Uh, I thought uh, since I'm posting a lot of videos recently and using this space for a lot of sort of content creation, I would figure I'd give you guys some sort of uh, tour of it so you could see my sort of desktop setup as it is now. And uh, I'm quite happy with the way it turned out and everything. So uh, why not get into it? Uh, for the purposes of this video, I am recording this on my new camera. This is the Sony Darn, what's it called again? It's a Handycam 405 something or other. The, it'll be in the description. I don't have the model number on me. It's their um, lower expensive Handycam, but it still has optical image stabilization, which is very nice. As you can see, I'm like panning around and it's quite steady. You can't see it, but there's a tripod attached to this. Uh, it's a mini Manfrotto tripod. Phenomenal piece of uh, engineering and uh, uh, you know, it's just great for a desktop sort of tripod stand. I'm recording this on this Rode NT-USB, which is going into that USB hub over there. It's a little mini powered one, USB 3.0 hub, which is going down to my computer, which I'll get to in a moment. Um, on the side here is the guitar stuff that I use to record a uh, live guitar in the room. Uh, this wah pedal over here is just a uh, Crybaby uh, 535Q that I'm not really using right now and I kind of might sell because I'm not really a big fan of it. <clears throat> My uh, beloved Bogner XTC Red pedal with current settings. Trying to get some Andy Timmons tone here. I have possibly an Andy Timmons song coming for you guys. So that's the settings I have right now. And next to it is a Boss SD1 which has been modified by Keeley. I sent that in and I will definitely be doing a review of that. It's a great pedal and a great mod if anyone can get around to doing it. And the amp I'm using is this Laney Cub 12R uh, with reverb. Uh, just single 112. For those who care, the settings I have it on are these. Bass and mid down a bit, treble and tone about halfway. Gain way down, really clean. Volume halfway, reverb less than half etc. And I'm in the 15 watt mode there, as you can see. The mic in front of it is an Audio-Technica AT4040. Great mic. So the routing for that is, it goes through some wiring underneath this uh, bookshelf thing here. Up here, into my Focusrite uh, 2i4. Sorry, that's a lot of focus. Um, focus right 2i4 interface, and then that goes into my computer. Uh, this computer is a custom mm -hmm. desktop that I built recently for as a kind of a graduation present. Uh, the specs I will have for this thing right next to it here, so you can see. Also, I forgot to mention that up here is my Yamaha THR5, which I use for silent or recording or just to get like a big, huge, like lead tone uh, when I want a quick and dirty way of doing it. And it's great. And I have the editing software on the computer, which I will get to for a video one day. Just got some wires hanging over here, headphones I use for monitoring sometimes. These are the Sony uh, MDR7506s. Great, great, absolutely great headphones. Like, can't say enough about them. They're phenomenal. So as you can see, um, the interface and the USB hub are underneath this riser, something I just got from, from Best Buy, this riser. And uh, up on top here is, uh, that's a TC Polytune clip that I use for tuning on the fly. This is just a thing of guitar picks. This is my computer making some noise. Uh, these, uh, for those who are curious, these uh, Jazz 3 XLs are the ones that I use. They're great. Tordex 1.35. They're uh, they're great picks for sure. The monitor is a 23-inch Acer 1080p monitor. I've had this for like, at least four years now. Throughout college, I've had it. It's great. It's been a great piece. And had no complaints. Pictures good. Uh, bezels are minimal. Speakers are actually, if you can see, 
insignia brand. They're actually Best Buy speakers, but they're pretty good. Something like 40 watts. They put out RMS 40 watts. It's uh, their 2.1. There's their uh, powered sub down there. Yep. And uh, this little lamp over here is just something I have in case I ever need to, in case I ever need to record in the dark. Gives me some light. Little um, holder for power cables. Great little thing made by Quirky. Highly recommend that. Uh, they're called uh, Cordy's, I believe. I think Cordy's. You can uh, pick them up on Amazon if you so desire. They're great. It's a weighted sort of rubber holder for up to like four cords. For the mouse and the computer is uh, another thing I've had for at least four years, not more, throughout college. Uh, Logitech MX Anywhere mouse. Great mouse. With the uh, frictionless scrolling, it, it's great. I can't get away from that now. The uh, keyboard is a recent, recent addition. This is a Ducky uh, DX2108 or something it's called. I forget the model. I got it at a Micro Center on sale. A great mechanical keyboard with the, uh, the brown switches in it. So it's quieter than most, but still still loud. It's just a great feeling keyboard with the, with the metal base plate on it. It's really solid and great, and the, the whole thing lights up real nice. Yep. So what else do I have here? Oh, my Xbox controller for playing games. You guys may see some racing game footage. Cause that's something I like to play a lot, uh, possibly. This computer can definitely handle that. And just some hard drive, flash drives, and pens and stuff. Typical office stuff. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything I'm missing. I think that, that should about do it. Oh. Uh, my phone for the past year and will continue to be is Samsung Note 5 and my laptop I traded from this old uh, Samsung I used to have to get this uh, Surface Pro 4 great computer and now that I have the desktop this is where I can do all my content uh, creation and the little Surface is great for just kind of consumption if you will and uh, that's about it that's my setup any questions uh, leave them in the comments below thank you